Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Assemble for the Thursday stream. Not the last stream of the week. Once again, let me put that in chat. Let me put that in chat uh, and pin it so everyone sees it today. Don't forget, we're watching the YCS on both days this weekend. Let me post that in chat and let me pin that. Yup. All right. Cool. Uh, FD Batman, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Um, we got some stuff to do today. Today is Age of Overlord release day. Today is Age of Overlord release day. So we got, uh, we naturally have this bad boy over here. Let me see. If I can, we got this bad boy to open up and we, we're going to pull hella quarter century secret rares. We're going to pull hella SP little knights. All that good stuff today. All that good stuff is going to happen. Definitely is going to happen. Motley, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate you. Um, so yeah, we're going to we're going to do the warm-up, then we're gonna do the Age of Overlord box opening. Then we have some other stuff to talk about. There there there's been a relatively significant ruling update that we need to talk about. Um so on and so forth. We've got an we we've got an OCG metagame report going on that we can look at we can find out if tier elements is still strongest and we can also finish our uh first stage duelist cup grind because i think we are still what is it two stages away from from duelist level max we're like uh, stage 18 or something i don't know um but that is also going to happen today so quite a lot of stuff to do quite a lot of stuff to do and uh at the end of the stream as well um we're also going to do a little thing with Farfa, but that's not going to happen on this stream. That's going to be over on Farfa's stream at 5 p.m., but uh, just, just so you already know. Uh, Mazeltov, thank you for the four. Appreciate you. Also, I can finally hear the, I can finally hear the sub alerts again. I fixed the, uh, the, the issues that it had, which I don't know why it had it. Literally, my fix for it was I turned it off and then I turned it back on and now it works. So um, I'm a little bit of an IT. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit of an IT guy myself. Uh, thank you for asking. Anyways, let us begin with the card guesser. I moved my keyboard back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's go. IT guy, but stream crashes at 25. Okay, so first of all, that hasn't happened in quite a while. And second of all, thank you for jinxing it. This, this, this looks like a, a fork kind of guy. That's a fork kind of guy. All right. That looks... Does it look familiar? No, it doesn't. What the hell is going on here? Have I seen this? No, I have not. No shot. Hastor. Oh. Hastor, all right. Uh, super heavy samurai? Question mark. Steam train king. All right. Oh, spike bot, right? Spike bot angle. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ahashima, hopefully? No. Which one is it then? Hirume? Hirume. How do you tell the difference? I will never know. Okay, Cybers... No, is it Cyber... No, it's Psychic Kid. The Psychic, psychic Kid. What is it called? Esper Girl? Esper... Girl? Oh, Epper. Epper Girl. Uh, you look familiar, Trigate, maybe? Yeah, nice. This one I don't know. I, I, uh, there's, like, uh, there's a, too many. But this one I haven't seen yet. White Baking. Okay, he, he do be baking. Alright, old card. Old Oh... Okay, nice. 
Um, gravity, it's not gravity bind, is it? No. Chaos Scepter Blast? No, I don't think it's that. It's something gravity, though. Gravity balance. Okay. Uh, is this the huge revolution is over? No. Then I don't know what it is. Royal Surrender. All right. Ooh, uh, this is the cover card from that dino structure deck. Conductor, it's a conductor. Superconductor type anyway, yeah. Um... Nope, mm, mm Nope. Passing glider. Can I see something else? No, okay. No idea what that is. Dice dungeon. Ooh, is this gimmick gimmick puppet stuff? I hate gimmick puppets. Terraform puppet. <laughs> Uh, it's a crystal zero something, uh, zero fine. Yeah. Earth Arctic, I think. Looking hella like an Earth Arctic. Beta? Beta? Wait, Drytron? Beta? Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know that. Gravekeeper. Gravekeeper. No. Is it? No. This is Dante, right? But it's not Dante the card. Oh, uh, what is... I don't know what that is. Terminus. Is that the ritual spell? That might be the ritual spell. The fusion spell. Okay. Uh, it's the, one of the dice, not skull dice, what's the other one called? I forgot, graceful dice, graceful dice. Uh, upstart golden ninja. What is happening? It looks familiar, but what is going on? I can't tell. Oh, is this anti reg No, it's not anti regeki is it? Thunder Crash. Th Thunder Crash, that's the one, yeah. Do-do-do driver, okay. Uh, level up. Hello? Yep. Uh, this might be Zen Mail Function? No, come on, that was a good guess. I don't know what it is then. He looks like he's male functioning. Zen Maintenance, okay. I might feel bad about this. No, I don't. Okay. I didn't know that. Stop giving me cringe cards. What the? This is an Earth Arctic now. Surely. Imagine though if I guessed that. Imagine if I guessed that. It was an Earth Arctic. Uh... Falling down. Yep. Oh, that's a Christron. Quan. 
This is Flower Cardian. <laughs> this is Flower Cardian art style, right? Um... There's no rose. Cherry Blossom? No, I don't know. Okay. I wasted time on that. I, kn I knew I should have... Uh, there was nothing... I was, lo I was looking if there was something called rose, but there wasn't. Peony with butterfly. Kek. Uh, I don't know who you are either. You're a Blackwing, but I don't know what you're called. Jin. Ah. Chaos sniffed this. Uh, I think that's bear. Yep. It is bear. Uh, is this hammer shot? It looks like hammer shot. Please be hammer shot. Yeah. Okay. Mm, this one I don't think I know. Red cocoon. Oh, oh, Baboko! No, I clicked, why did I click zoom? I didn't need that. Okay, that's a six samurai, but I think it's a spell card, which means I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. It's not one of the ones that I break through. Okay. Mm, tough one. Oh, sage. Dark sage. We're getting barely any points for these. Okay, this is Cyber Eternity. Yeah, nice. Uh, it's not the calculator. Is it the calculator? Accumulator? What else is there? Calibrator? Calibrator. Okay, I didn't know that existed. I did not know that was a thing. Mm. Barrage. I've seen this one, but I don't remember what it was called. Last Resort. Okay. Uh, Sangha. Chris Magistus. I know this one. Oh, it's is it VFD? No, it's not. Last of the... Oh, Last of the Drag... No, that's not the one. Uh, First of the Dragons. Yeah. That's what it was. Oh, this is a, one of the reactors. The React Andes. R-E. Ah, oh, come on. Huh? What is it then? Oh, that does that belong to? Do they belong together? I feel like they do. They oh, but they, it has it has a different name. I didn't know that. What are you, Utopic Sage? Oh, this is the Link Monster World Legacy Link Monster. Um. Dem Demi Urge? World Gears? That one. Ah, 
Uh, is that Arla Kino? No. Come on, man. I can't even get a guess right these days. What is this then? Gentrude. Oh, this is the kick, man. Kick. Oh, it's actually called that. <laughs> I didn't know it was called. I thought it was my description of it. That was just my. That was just me trying to explain what the cart looks like. I didn't know it was called that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that thing's just called the kick, man. <sighs> Bro, I don't know these cards. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I know that card. My bad. Uh, Fortune Lady Water. Is it Thunder Dragon Matrix? Oh, it's one word. It's not! What? <laughs> what is it then? Oh, it's the Thunder Dragon Trap card. 100 Thunders, man. Actually washed streamer, man. Actually washed streamer. Literally 600 point round. Not even yet. Metaltron. Uh, this is an Amazonist, but I don't know which one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and get 600. But it's... Oh, uh, Dark Right? That one, okay. 600. I, no, I'm not happy about that. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not acting all happy about that. That's, that's awful. Uh, Supreme... Something, Zark, whatever, doesn't matter. Whether we get 610 or 630, it's it's doomed anyways. God damn it. All right, l let it all out. Let it all out. Spam washed. Spam washed in chat. Today, I deserve it. Today, I deserve it. Maddie Naps, thank you so much for the 13 months. Though, appreciate that. Thank you for the long time support. All right, let it all out. Let it all out, chat. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, effect monster, low level, not dark, low attack, low defense, low year. Let's uh, let's do a little uh, key mouse action. A level one from twenty ten with zero zero. What about AD changer? No, that is 100-100. It's not Valor because it's not a tuner. Also, Valor is 2011. No, it's also 2010. Droll and Lockbird. Good guess, but was not it. Vibronic, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you for the prime. <sighs> All right. Um... Wind, no, fire, water, or light. Fire, water, or light. A person typing, think of it in nine months. Welcome back. Mystic Piper, Mystic Piper is 2011. Also, it's not a spellcaster, but not a bad guess. Consecrated light, consecrated light is the card. Consecrated light is the card. Nice. Okay. You know how it goes. When we start with Rongo, you never take more than four guesses. You never need more than four guesses. That's how it is. Uh, it was indeed Consecrate Light. Ooh. 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 
All right. I'm going to let y'all finish Pepe Ding. <laughs> and then we move on. When do we get we need more floodgates? I might do it for the weekend. I'll I'll I will i will have some time tomorrow to maybe set it up. <laughs> I haven't even decided whether I want to do it yet, but if you guys are telling me you're gonna sub more if we have a new sub sound, then I'll do it. Pinky promise though. Uh okay. We need to open this bad boy up right now. We need to open this bad boy up right now. And I'm, tell you, I'm telling you beforehand what is not going to happen, okay? We are not going to pull a TG secret rare. Stop saying TG secrets incoming, please. We're not pulling TG secret rares. We're getting a, we're getting a quarter century secret rare. And we're definitely pulling SP Little Knight. Surely. Surely we're doing that. All right, let me set up a Gamba. What should be the Gamba? Chat, do you guys rather want a Gamba whether we pull SP Little Knight or whether we pull a Quarter Century? What do you guys want to Gamba your points on? What do you want to Gamba on? SP Little Knight or Quarter Century? I'm seeing a couple more SPs than Quarter Centuries. Okay, I'm going to start a prediction. Do... We pull SP Little Knight. Yes. No. I'll give you a minute to predict. I'll give you a minute to gamble your points to your heart's content. And then we shall begin opening this bad boy up. In the meantime, of course, you guys know this, uh, this box is whenever a new set comes out. The box opening on stream is sponsored by SmartGuard. And they did tell me to show you guys this real quick. Because there is a giveaway going on on their Twitter account. They're trying to build their Twitter or X account rather is what I should say. And they're giving away a box of Age of Overlord to, uh, to someone on here as well. Um, so I'm going uh, I'm to send you guys this, this link in chat real quick. And oops. And you guys can take part in the giveaway. All you need to do is retweet and like and follow all the all the the usual Twitter stuff. Don't okay. I I typed V. Don't make fun of me for typing V. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Let me switch over to this scene. Yep. All right. Here we are. The Gamba is over. Also, MaxiPad and Benny Me. Thank you guys so much for the subs. Appreciate you guys. Oh no. I messed up my mic settings. Okay, now it's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I messed up my mic settings. Is it still here? Or is it fine now? Oh. Ah, now I see why it was there. It should be fixed now. It should be fixed now. The For some reason... For some reason... um, Sometimes... Because my webcams, both of the webcams have a mic as well. And sometimes they'll just turn on for some reason. They like to be turned on. The, uh, you know. Anyways. All right. Uh, let me quickly remove the wrapping. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> all right. Now, as far as to, as far as to what I want from this set, obviously. There is a lot of stuff in here that I do want. Uh, Blade Mercury, thank you for the eight months. Uh, a lot of stuff. Obviously, SP Little Knight is the big one. SP Little Knight is the big one, but there's a lot of other cool stuff in here. The angle feels kind of tiring. The thing is, I don't have a better way to do it. I'm going to try and hold them like this, but I don't, ha I, I don't currently have a, 
better solution as to how I can do the openings. But you know, my bad. Like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hold the packs like this one, but I don't have like this, but I don't have a I don't have a better way to do it currently. Because this is not a pack opening channel. We only do it every once in a while. Anyways. Beep, beep. All right. We got what? We got cards that we will not talk about. We have whatever this is. Charf Sarga. First pack. We got a Nouvelle Super Air. All right. And then some of these comments. Okay. There we got the first Sinful Spoils, the common one. And we got Canopic Protector, the Horus Trap card. So far, no Gen and Ken either, or Gen and Ken? What do, what do I say? Do I say Gen or do I say Gen? Do you believe in the Armored XC's engine? Uh... Not that much. They're not bad, though. Like, I think only decks that can really afford it, the, the space in the extra deck are going to play them. Uh, we got the new Vanquish Soul trap card. I, I am excited for the new Vanquish Soul, even though, you know, people are more excited for other stuff in this set. I personally want, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And we got the first Ultra Rare TG Glaive Blaster. That's not, I hope that's not a sign of what's to come in this set. In this box, rather. We got Angelic Ring, we got this, we got Pendulum Evolution, we got Lila Wrap. It's a wrap. It's a TG, but at least it's not one of the Secret Rare slots so far. Okay, we got Red Arrows. Is every single Secret Rare except for the TGs, like, fine? What are, like, the bad secrets outside of the TGs? Just so I can brace myself before we move on. It's like the the snake eye ones is the snake eye one is not very good in terms of value, but it's not like a terrible card. I wouldn't like if I pull that one, I at least know I can maybe at some point use it. <laughs> Who knows, right? But like the the TGs I have like no interest in ever using. Oh, there's Ken. Look at, look, it's the most valuable card in this pack. It's Ken the Warrior Dragon. That was the most valuable card in this booster pack. Shit, crazy, isn't that? Isn't that nice? <sighs> Horus Super Air. I mean, we can still pull a, uh, an SP Little Knight to salvage this, right? Surely. Fire Recovery. Okay. Imagine a double TG Secret Rare box. Has anyone pulled that gambit off? Has anyone pulled off the 2 euro... Uh... The two euro freaking booster box gambit. We got another Ken. No Gen so far, or no Gen so far, whatever. If you don't want the TG secrets, just sign them and do a giveaway. No, we'll give away the TG secrets. No, no, don't worry. Well, we will. <laughs> Synchro Rumble. I pulled the TG spell plus Salamander in NA, but I also got the Sinful Spoil as a quarter. Okay, I guess the quarter century makes up for it then. But literally, imagine this. If you pull 
both TG Secrets and No Quarter Century, your box is literally worth like 10 bucks. Which is um, interesting. Okay, there's Gen. And there... Oh, nah, man. Ultra Rare. Or Ultra Rare. His Tina, man. Oh, God. This might be the worst box in the history of boxes. Oh, my God. How am I... How are we... How are we managing to mess up a box of a set that is this powerful? How? How? Switch point. Best set of the year, he said. Oh my god. Another ultra rare Xyz that is not freaking uh, Star Typhon. It's not a terrible card, though. This one's not a terrible card. But it's not going to be worth much. Stars Align, Watt Thingy, Shino Bird Thingy, Exoraptor Thingy, Supreme King Gate Magician Super, more Ken. Is Gen short printed? I've pulled like three Kens and one Gen only. You should lower your mic level. It's clipping. It's very close right now. Maybe I can just put it here. Is that better? Uh, Peacock. Hey, we got one of the armor fortress thingies. Oh! Camera was frozen for a second there. Sorry. More Kens. Does this set come with the card that shuffles a pendulum and searches astrograph? I am not sure. I think so, though. I don't know exactly what card you're talking about. What pulls have we gotten so far? We do not talk about that right now. Do not ask me that question. Wings of Light. We are, R the, the thing is, chat, like yesterday, we are RNG manipping. We are RNG manipping a, an SP Little Knight Quarter Century Seager Rare is what we're doing. You don't understand. We're going through some, uh, some very complicated RNG manips on, uh, like, these poles here, these poles down here are just to find out our seed, where we are in the game, to, to RNG manip an SP Little Knight uh, Quarter Century Seager Rare. That's what we're doing right now. In case anyone was wondering why we why we would be pulling these bad uh, hollows, uh, that's why. You know? Just trust the process, okay? Just trust the process. Maybe maybe we've missed a frame by, by a frame or something, but we're we're definitely very close to that quarter century Seagull Rare SP Little Knight. We're super close. Believe. Okay, TG Mighty Striker. If we pull the other TG Secret, I'm literally canceling my, my Smart Guard sponsorship. I'm literally stopping it. It stops today. <laughs> there's gen dude <laughs> imagine we get a one secret rare box now <laughs> uh, uh, I'm scared bro where is it where's our second secret how many packs do we have left Four. Uh. Ah, all right. We got a we got a good ultra. That is part of the RNG minute. We got a Star Slayer Python. That's at least something out of this box. At least something. 
three more packs we're expecting uh another secret and if we have done the rng manip correctly we're also going to get that quarter century secret rare any second now any second now the seed is coming up focus no it won't well oh there's the third gen we did manage to pull a place ah! Uh, I mean, no, it's not good. No, we're not happy with that. No, that's not good. That's not a good one. How did we manage? How did we manage to pull so bad out of this set? That is crazy. The set is supposed to be way better than that. Okay. Last pack has the quarter century secret rare to save us. Imagine. Dude, remember chat. I just want to say. Remember when we I'm mean, let me do let me do that pack trick everyone is talking about. Um Remember when we pulled the dark armed dragon quarter century in the very last pack? That was also an RNG manip. It was the same. We're using the same RNG manip. Yeah. Uh -oh. We missed the frame somewhere. We missed a frame somewhere. Well, that was a very disappointing <laughs> opening. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was. I expected a little bit more than that. Because it's like, even if we don't pull SP Little Knight, I was like, okay, we can pull Diabell Star. We can pull the Wanted uh, Secret Rare spell. We can pull the other Horus Secret Rare that's actually good, the Imseti. There was like so many Secret Rares I wanted. And none of these are it. The only card out of these that I actually really wanted was this one. I guess the Horus I'll take. The Horus, like... I was okay with this being the worst of the, the, the two secret rares, you know? But this is like, uh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's a disaster. Disaster. Disaster has struck in this box opening. Okay, well. Uh, I guess these three are not awful cards, but no, it's not a good opening. I'll, I'll, we'll give away these. I don't need these. Let me set up a giveaway for those. I'm sorry, I can't give you guys much of value this time around, but we didn't really get anything that I could, you know, because I need that Zeus retrain. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Holy shit, that was disappointing. Holy shit, that was disappointing, man. God damn it. That was not... That was not very fun to open. <laughs> okay. Uh, as per usual, I'm setting up a giveaway for the, the, the ultras and secrets that I don't need, which is the TG limiter removal, TG glaive blaster and Tistina, the divinity that defies darkness, uh, which I'm going to be giving away to one lucky winner. Um... The, the keyword is um, TG Pog. You need to type TG Pog to, uh, to take part in the giveaway. And then one person is going to win all the, the three hollows. EU only? It's not EU only. It's not EU only. Uh, and we'll run it, like, let's run it for, like, a minute. Let's, let's draw at 46. 
Let's draw a winner at 46. And also, it'd be nice if everyone followed, you know, follow the, follow the stream if you're not followed yet. That'd be nice, which is also free. Mm -hmm. Or Prime, Ob Solitaire. Thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. You can also do that. That is also very much appreciated. Thank you. All right, it is 46, so we're rolling it. The winner is Tao Baka. Tao Baka has won the giveaway. Let me write that down somewhere. Where's my pen? Okay, all you need to do is uh, send me an address where I need to send this, uh, either here on Twitch or on Discord, whatever you prefer. And then I'll get these, I'll get these cards out to you. Congratulations. It's Josh's alt account. Dude, for the freaking TG Secret Rare, it wouldn't even be worth my time to set up an alt account. Literally not. <laughs> Peeve, thank you for the Prime and ZV, thank you for the gift sub to TG Poggers. Dude, how are you coming up with these accounts to gift subs to? Like, the amount of effort it takes to change your Twitch account name every time you want to do a, a bit like that is... I, I mean, I respect that. I respect the effort. I respect the, uh, the, the effort. Post your address in Twitch chat? Obviously not! No! Don't post your address in Twitch chat. Send me a DM with it. Either on Twitch or on Discord. Obviously, don't post your address in Twitch chat right now. <laughs> this Duelist Cup is really upsetting me. I play a going second Sword Soul deck. I play Labyrinth four times in a row, and then I finally pick to go first, and then I play Numeron. That is uh, unlucky. That is unlucky. Okay. Before we hop into Master Duel, let's look at a couple more things. Age of Overlord, um, let's look at... It. <laughs> That's pr it's probably gonna make me um, depressed, but... Let's look at some of the pre-sale prices from Age of Overlord. What we could have gotten, basically. Any percent SP buyout? I mean, yeah, that's the one where everyone's eyes are on SP Little Knight, right? And SP Little Knight is currently sitting at 77 euros, which... Um, if anyone has paid attention to this, the card has actually been at like 65 a couple days ago, like two or three days ago, the card was at like 65, it was like going down, it was going down slightly and I was considering picking it up, but I didn't yet. Cause I thought maybe I'll pull it, kek W, um, but no, it was going down towards like 65, whatever. And then people started buying it and it, st and it started going back up. And so now it's currently looking to be relatively stable at around like 6, 76, 78. There's a lot of SPs at that price, at least from Germany. Um, so yeah, that's that. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but honestly, no one expected this card to be cheap. So not a huge surprise on SP Little Knight here. Uh, whether, whether 76 is going to be... Um, it's going to be where it's at or whether it's going to go up or down from here. No idea. You know, the set is a, the set is a, if, if you, any, if pretty much every single booster box out there, except for the one that I just opened should be a, a banger, but yeah. Um, then we got the, the sinful spoil secret rare, which is still looking relatively expensive, honestly, 50 bucks plus roughly. I mean, there's a couple ones at 45. For the wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. Um, that's also, that's the second best Seeker rare. And then the third best one is Imseti. At 28. Alright. Imseti at 28. Then we got Diabell Star at 24. Then we got Arias. Then we got Visa Samsara. Dude, I pulled... Two of the four worst secret rares. Duamutev is the fourth worst secret rare. 
And TG limited removal is the worst secret rare. The card is 80 cents. 94 cents. Let's stop talking about Age of Overlord card prices. Let us stop talking about that. Why don't we why don't we stop talking about Age of Overlord card prices? Let's let's not do that. Uh instead, let's talk about something else which happened. I was scrolling YG organization this morning to check if we had any new cards to talk about, but we don't have any actually. You're saying new card pog, but we don't have any new cards as far as I'm aware. There's nothing new to talk about in in that regard, but there was a ruling update where they posted a bunch of ruling updates and I scrolled through it. A lot of this doesn't seem super super relevant, but there was this one thing that we should probably talk about. Um that has been a thing in the past. It has been an important ruling in the past, and it has apparently changed. And after this, we're gonna hop into the OCG metagame report, and then we do Master Duel. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna still play plenty of Master Duel today. But first things first, let's read this together and talk about what it means. Not applied in TCG yet. I'm aware. We're also gonna talk about that. But usually, as far as I'm aware. Um, when a ruling like this changes in the OCG, um, it's going to be adapted in the TCG eventually. Like, it should be. Like, because they, they do try to keep the rulings uh, uniform between the two regions. Not every single time, but when it's interactions like this one, they typically will um, eventually you know, do that. If the effect of IP Mascarena is chained to Triple Tactics Talent and control of the Link Summoned SP Little Knight changes. Okay, so I activate the take control of one monster your opponent controls until the end phase effect of Triple Tactics Talents. And my opponent activates the immediately after this effect resolves Link Summon a Link Monster using materials you control including this card effect of IP Mascarena in response. So, chain link one talents to take, chain link two IP to link summon. And they summon an SP Little Knight, which has an on summon trigger. SP Little Knight is link summoned immediately after the effect of IP Mascarena resolving, and I gain control of that SP Little Knight when resolving the effect of talents. In this case, which player can activate the trigger effect of SP Little Knight? And the answer, honestly, surprisingly, is now. After the chain has finished resolving, you are SP Little Knight's controller, therefore you can activate its effect. So this means I activate talents to take. My opponent chains IP Masquerade to summon SP Little Knight, or it could also be Nightmare Unicorn, whatever. You take the thing and you can activate it because it was just summoned and you, you are the controller of the card. Which... Some people in chat are saying it's kind of intuitive. I agree with you. That is intuitive. However, that has not how it's been. That has not... That is, that is not how it's been ruled forever. Like with... Past examples include IP summoning a Nightmare Unicorn or um, summoning a Guardian Chimera, for example, in response to uh, Triple Tactics Talents with like Brandon and Red or something like that because you don't want your opponent to get your mirror jade or something like this, right? In the past, um, the, 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 the person activating the talents was not the person who was able to activate the effect. So this is, because specifically Triple Tactics Talents is such a meta-relevant card, this is quite the big rule change. This is quite impactful, especially considering how important we, we think a card like IP Mascarena and SP Little Knight are going to be, right? So. It's going to be very interesting. Um, it's going to be very interesting um, as to when and if we're getting this in the TCG. Because so far, as far as I know, this is only a ruling change that has happened in the OCG. Why did it happen? No idea. Maybe they just thought about it and, and they were like, yeah, actually, that makes more sense. Let's change it. That could literally be as simple as, as that, right? 
Um, maybe maybe it's an attempt. Maybe it, maybe it came up right now because IP and SP are so popular right now. Like maybe that 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 you know. Well, yeah. Uh, STL Hub. Thank you for the prime. What happens now in Master Duel? Well, we don't know. I don't think it's gonna be here yet. Um, but you know. I'm pretty sure the head judges at big events will rule like this, beginning with YCS Indie. Well, that's speculation. We don't know that. We do not know if this is something that they will adapt in the TCG immediately or um, whether or not. I assume that because OCG, OCG seems like the people who have control over Master Duel, um, it might change in Master Duel at some point in the near future. You could test it in Master Duel with Unicorn, I guess. I'm pretty sure right now it's not like this. I'm pretty sure right now it's not like this. So they would probably announce if they changed that. Um, yeah. Did you read the Julia post? I have. This is literally all I've seen about this entire situation. I haven't looked into it more. I haven't seen any posts regarding it. I, I am literally clueless. Uh, okay. Okay, Julia Hedberg, I think... This is a screenshot from Facebook. I think she is like uh, the judge of all judges. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. We are aware that the OCG is posting changes and updates to rulings. Judges in TCG territories should not reference these changes and should continue to rule as we have done previously. When any such changes should be included for TCG territories, we will provide additional information on the official website. Until you see something announced officially by TCG territories, you should not utilize the information. Okay, that does make sense. That does make sense because um, a ruling being different in the OCG than the TCG, even though you think it would be counterintuitive, uh, is not unusual. There are things that are that are still fundamentally different in the OCG than they are in the TCG. For example, hand triggers. Right in the OCG, hand trigger effects are basically treated like tr like like quick effects, pretty much. Like how uh, Ghost Mourner in uh, in Master Duel is does not really work like a trigger effect. You know, for example, it's just an example. Um, and this is why. Uh, if a, if a TCG judge just uses OCG rulings to solve TCG ruling questions, that can be an issue because sometimes the rules are different. And uh, in this case, what she's saying is basically, yeah, the OCG has changed it, but that does not mean that the TCG is pulling along. They might at some point, you know, they'll probably think about it. They'll probably, they'll probably discuss and, uh, and, and, and come to a conclusion on whether or not they should you know, follow suit and, and copy the, the rule change. Um, but until that has happened, until that has happened, we're not going to use this ruling, right? And so I just wanted to make y'all aware of this because it is something that might be coming to Master Duel. You know, Master Duel is typically using OCG rules like the hand triggers, right? The hand triggers are also um, working like the OCG in Master Duel. So I wanted to make you guys aware of this, but for the TCG, yet, this does not mean it's going to happen, right? So keep that in mind. All right. Speaking of OCG, before we hop into Master Duel, we have the OCG metagame report from yesterday, and we're going to find out if Tirlaments is still strongest. I think this is the first metagame report after the new ban list, I think. I think. Do not look at the last entry. Wait, is it tier limits? Is it still tier? Are they still playing tier limits? I have, on purpose, not looked at this yet. And I just want to know if they are still playing tier limits. I need to, I need to know because they murdered that deck. Please stop playing tier limits, OCG. Rescue Ace, Labyrinth, Pearly, Magician Rude. It's gone! Tierlevance is finally gone from the OCG. <laughs> There's no more tier. There's no more tier. Tierlevance weakest. Tierlevance weakest. They have been bullied out of playing Tierlevance. Finally. Maybe other is 31% Tierlevance. Does it... How many... Okay, does it say... What's the small... Vanquish Soul 7. Oh, the 3. Three. There's three tier limit. 
They are on the same level as Trap Tricks, Tribigate, Litterlusk, Punk, Gold Pride, Math Mech at Ignister, Hero, and Meta Beat. Whatever the hell Meta Beat is. That's a name I've last heard in like 2010. When Meta Beat was like Thunder King, Ryo, Doom Caliber Knight and shit like that. That was Meta Beat in 2010. It's basically stun, yeah. That's where Tier Limits is now. Sick. Alright, uh, I mean... On a, on a less exciting note, on a less exciting note, um, the top decks are really nothing surprising here. We got Rescue Ace because they didn't get hit at all, which I thought was crazy that they didn't, that they didn't hit Rescue Ace at all. They also didn't hit Labyrinth at all, so guess what? Those two decks are now top dogs. Uh, and then we got still Pearly Magician Runic, okay. Yeah, this is Rescue Ace. Pretty much how it was built before the ban list. It still is like that after the ban list. They're playing two of the Diabellstar now. There are two of the Diabellstar now. Imagine playing Impulse. Imagine playing Impulse, dude. Yuck. Yeah, it's pretty standard Rescue Ace. It's pretty standard Rescue Ace again. Pretty standard Labyrinth, I assume. Yup. That's the one thing I found not as exciting about the, this last ban list is that the top decks outside of tier limit they weren't really forced to adapt to anything. Like the 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 lab and and rescue ace decks just the same as ever, right? Um, it is worth noting that Arias the Labyrinth Butler is a card that we are just now getting in Age of Overlord two. So our Labyrinth decks could soon start looking something like this because Transaction Rollback is a card that we don't have yet, but it is also releasing in the TCG. I believe it's in January. So it's like two and a half months down the line or something. So very soon, Labyrinth decks in the TCG could look something like this. Um, but yeah, as, as far as like OCG players go, they're literally just playing the same decks as before, except like tier limits is finally gone. And I say finally, not because I hate tier limits. I say finally because that deck has been around for one and a half years, dude. What's the trap near Imperm? This this thing is called transaction rollback. If you want to Google it, transaction rollback. Uh, we've got Pearly, which is two delicious, one sleepy is kind of cringe. But you can still somewhat consistently set up boards because you can go, my friend, reveal these three together. And then you, you just find out whether it's a delicious game or a sleepy game. It's still playable for sure. They're playing three traps now. But they, they've been playing three traps for a while, right? Because they couldn't guarantee the sleepy into Noir to get it. Yeah. Also, they're playing Desires, which is... Desires is wild when you only have one Sleepy, two Delicious. That is wild to me, but... Yeah. Magician. Cringe activities. Runic. Oh, no. No, not the... Is this the... Oh, this is that last entry that you were talking about. Oh, this is that last entry that you were talking about. Dude, I hate... I hate what they are doing with Runic. I hate what they're doing with my 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 love runic. Meta beat. Yeah, this is meta beat runic. We call this meta beat runic chat. <laughs> Conclusion. Rescue Ace, Labyrinth, Pearly Magician, and Runic take the lead at the start of the OCG 2023 uh, October format. Uh, the biggest impact of the OCG limit regulation is the heavy blow to tier limits, causing tier limits to finally fall off from the peak of the competitive scene. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say. Right? That's, I couldn't have said it better. That's pretty much all there is here. All of these lists we've pretty much seen beforehand. Um, it's just they deleted tier limits from the, from the pie chart. That's all that happens here. Okay. All right, all right, all right. And with that, let us go ahead and climb to the final duelist level in master duel now suffering more yesterday 
was was quite something. The more I think about it, yesterday was kind of crazy. We, the RNG we've gotten yesterday was uh, something else, dude. It was something else. Did we play lab yesterday? We played a little bit of we played a little bit of everything. Um Do you want some insane sprite goo from the new pack? What do you mean? Cash zoo? We could we could experiment a little bit. We could build one or two new decks today and 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 mess around a little. Ojama Dark Beast Sprite. No. Maximi. Ah. All right. Our our welcome labyrinths are not going to get ashed. I'll tell you that much. Wraith Soth, all right. Uh, let me think about this. I the unit. What is the best way? I could set up a Daruma Karma Cannon by going welcome. Into Lady, Big Welcome, Summon Ariana, Bounce Lady, and so on and so forth. I could also Eradicator them after they search with Unicorn. The thing is... The thing is, if I activate a Welcome Lab right now, and they don't have Ash... My both of my gammas are just dead in my hand. I think I'm supposed to gamma the unicorn. I think I'm supposed to gamma the unicorn and then if they have an ash blossom, I just have to live with that, right? That's on what that's what I'm feeling. We can also, we can play around, we can play around Ash a little bit. Because we can welcome Lab for the lovely and then they cannot Ash big welcome anymore. That is not what I was expecting. Uh. Well, yeah. I mean, so far I'm not so worried about all that. I'm not that worried about all that. We'll see. Goes for Scream. That means they have a tier in hand, right? They have to have a tier in hand to do this play. Uh... I could go Welcome Lab now. Get Lady. I get Lovely, I mean. And pop the Kid Kalos. They mill 5, but unless they mill exactly Havnus, they can't Fusion Summon. That might be... That might be my play.
think I bounced driver, which is funny because it would make my... Uh, if it goes banished in the end phase, I can't use my other gamma. And I don't want to bounce this, I don't want to bounce this, and bouncing gamma is pointless. So I think it's this. They get to scream. Do I want to add a labyrinth card or do I want to draw a random card? Um, I think I draw a random card here. I'll draw a random card. Because I could draw a maxi. No. No. Okay, they mill they mill seven more here. They, I just have to dodge the one of Havness. That's literally what I care about the most. Or, or that. That's also fuck. That they drew all that. Uh, Nightshade Inari, thank you for the two months. And Paul Gropper, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. That milled should all beast. That milled fairy tale snow. That milled heartbeat. That milled meta noise. How do they do this, dude? I don't understand. They have more tears. How do they? Okay. Well, they can definitely snow for a rank four. They drew one of Tear Cash, one of Wraith Soth, Rhino Heart. Oh. How many cards do I not know in their hand? It was... Ba okay. Battle phase. Interesting. Uh, the set is meta noise, right? Yeah. The set is meta noise. Uh, I th it's looking like we're okay here. Said welcome lab. <laughs> I do think I need welcome lab. But I cannot... I can also get this. If I if I get lab lab, I can big welcome, bring this out. No, I need this, I think. This is going to be rough though. That is interesting. Um, I'm thinking about using welcome for big lady.
they're gonna scream and i think i have to let that happen i do not think i have a way around that they milled at the strudo and another scream which they do have a target for could be worse Do they have the materials to make a Kaleido Heart? They don't. Unless they have an Aqua in hand, they can't make Kaleido Heart. I could also use the one in the grave to bounce my own Ariana. Muckraker? Muckraker doesn't seem very good here. Maybe it's just this. I wanted to use the one in the graveyard, but maybe it's just this. It's probably just this. Oh, we're so low on time. That's annoying. Chain meta noise. Target that. We can still chain that. And let's chain this so we can immediately activate this trap. It's probably Overroot, right? Overroot does go kind of hard here. Go Overroot. What is this music? Have you 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 are you're trying to tell me you don't know what this music is? Is that what you're is that seriously what you're trying to tell me? Uh we might time out. I'm afraid to report that we might time out. I hit Havnis in their hand. I'm losing my freaking mind. I hate tier limits so much, man. Huh? Okay, what are you? doing huh 
How much defense is Sharon? 1300? 1300, right? Uh, yeah, that I don't know if that was optimal, but we are very low on time. Why didn't it? Oh, because it didn't get sent to the grave. I didn't realize that was how it worked. Okay. That's a problem. I didn't have the time to double check it is the problem. I did not realize that's how it worked. Um, effect. Okay, sorry, I'm not talking much right now, but I do need to kind of hurry up. I kind of need to hurry the fuck up. Uh, I'm stressed right now, <laughs> but I'm doing good otherwise. Also, merchandise, Nicolas Cage, and Cornfake. Thank you guys for the subs. Appreciate you guys. Uh, that is a uh, Baron de Fleur. Which can get out of here. Ooh. Oh god, is this really the first game of the day, man? The first game of the day. I see. Is it gonna be that kind of day again? Oof. It was a good game, though. It was a good game. The fuck is that hand to scoop? I, I'm guessing it had tier limit cards in it, which unfortunately in Master Duel right now, um, that is a reason to scoop sometimes. When is it not a day like that? That is true. It is always kind of like that day. They should have made Zeus. They should have made... Ah, hello. Nah. Nah.
Mm -mm. That's, there's no way. I, first of all, I don't think it's cashed here. Huh? Yeah. Ooh, two Chaos Angel. Do I play three? I don't play three Chaos Angel. That's a problem. You fool! The aggressive gamma, the aggressive driver from hand. Beep, beep. <laughs> you have to Fenrir my driver now. You did not Fenrir my driver. I am gonna attack your Fenrir. So what do you have? Big welcome? No. Why, why didn't you banish my driver? What the hell? Um. Could Omega. Which gives them a draw with Max C. I'm like. Not sure if that's worth it. Because I'm giving them a draw to hand loop a card every turn from now on. But at the same time... It could be alright. It could be alright. It applies some pressure. Gives me some info. Ooh, that's a good banish. They could have summoned that. And been very annoying with it. I hope they don't have another one, actually. Okay, we're playing like that, like that. Why didn't you skill drain my Omega? Okay, well... We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! like that, like that. Okay, Fenrir in hand is already annoying to me. I could have max seat there, but it was only going to be an upstart goblin, but I guess it's always only going to be that. That's fine. That's not as scary as Ash there. Ash would have been disastrous. Disaster would struck if that was an Ash. Um This is big. Um and they do have one eventually as well. However, maybe I can do some tricks to out the skill drain with this. Can I? I would need to trigger it. And then chain big welcome to bounce. Nah, there's no way that's happening. That's not happening. End phase. Bro, you're dead. I guess they have to summon... They have to summon this... They have to have another lady now. 
Or for, I should have done this in my turn. Okay, they did draw that. Kind of fucked up, but it's okay. Uh, so this attacks here. Wait, no, I have big welcome. Is it still game? I think it's game. Wait, no, it's not. Because uh, if a normal trap, wait. If a Labyrinth card or effect or a normal trap. Yeah, if I use Big Welcome to bounce Fenrir, they can summon the other from their hand. Well, I drew Eradicator, so it's kind of irrelevant. So, attack here, 433. It's not going to be game. Bounce Skill Drain for Lovely Pop. Bounce Skill Drain. I could bounce Skill Drain. But then I don't have a lovely pop still. If I bounce skill drain. I can use Ariana. Why don't you just eradicate her for traps? I mean, I will. Oh, I should have attacked Fenrir first. Oh my god, I'm messing it up. The the bounce skill drain comment threw me off of my plan. I should have just attacked first, because it's not going to be game this turn. That was very Pepega. Okay. Yeah. Yep. We're still winning, but that was giga unnecessary. Return her to grave with Omega? Ooh, I could have done that. I could have done that. Yeah, yeah, Omega can. Omega can recover face down banished. Did we open the box already? We do not talk about the box. The box was as bad as it could have been, pretty much. It was horrible. Um... Yep. Chaos Angel? Chaos Angel doesn't do anything, though. Chaos Angel just dies to this.
What level are you? It's, I think, 18. We're almost done. Uh, we don't need anything. Because the game is over. We had to do it that way because the... The thing couldn't be destroyed when they still had a set card. No. No. Talents isn't live. They have lady in hand. The game is over. They can set a trap with this, but it doesn't matter. We're not level 20 yet, but we're almost there. I will be at YCS Bologna, yeah. Uh, I just go battle phase, right? They can't do anything. Yeah, okay. No, Eradicator only d destroys traps that they have right now and that they draw later. If you search a trap or you set a trap directly from your deck or also the skill drain that just re that just um, returned from Banished, you cannot um, destroy that with Eradicator. Main event already sold out? Really? Is Bologna already sold out? How many tickets did they have? That's crazy fast. At least two? That is probably true. I haven't thought about it that way. Alright, we got a two pair kind of hand again. That does nothing if this Ariana gets impermed. This game hates me. I'm convinced this game hates me. I'm literally passing without a set card, dude. Why did I say that shit? Why did I say that? Oh my god. Your turn, dude. I'll be on the toilet real quick.
Are we dead yet? Oh, we're dying. Yeah, of course. Cool. Of course, it's... Branded Cash Tira. Did they hard draw Branded Fusion 2? I'm not surprised by that. That makes sense. What did they open? Did they open... What did they open? Branded Fusion, Imperm Ash, Lubelion, uh, Unicorn? Well, that's average. That's an average hand right there. Hell yeah. And they're not even killing me. That is crazy. You're leaving me at 100. You're actually just cruel. Check the deck size. Well, it was 40. We actually just live. That's crazy, man. Uh, Batman989, thank you for the seven months. We will definitely be uh we will definitely be doing deck doctors again in the future, yeah. Absolutely. Don't worry. Are you gonna make flare metal? Are you making flare metal? That's what's going on. Why is there a mirror jade in a cash hero board? Don't 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 question it. It's a it's a rank up game. The 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 game is programmed to fuck me over as as hard as possible when it's a rank up game. No, okay. We just pass like this. Okay, wonderful. Oh, he couldn't make Flare Metal because Branded Fusion, right? Goodbye, Entis. Streamer, how win? Don't ask me, dude. How am I supposed to know? That took you a concerning amount of time.
Uh, I do realize I made a mistake. Because I, I think I lose regardless. But earlier on, I used Stovey. I should have used Chandralier. Because now I can't use Stovey discard Chandralier, which would be the better play technically. Yeah. I don't even know what to pop here. I, it has to be this, I guess. Mm. I'm gonna pass. If I had, if I could use, I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference, I don't think. We'll see. I'm going to try to just for fun to see if we can win this, but I don't know. Without Lovely, it's rough. Um, Who clock? We might live this turn, as funny as it is. As funny as it is, we could live this turn. Depending on what they attack with. If they attack with Fenrir, okay. I have to... Do I have to? Uh, I could let this one die. And then go ch Chandelier? With the max C? But then if they attack with this, it's over. I think. If I do it now, they attack with Fenrir, then yeah, I have to let it go. I think we're living. Oh my god, you're so cringe, dude. How does anyone draw as good as you do? <sighs> you're so cringe. Imperm, Ash, Maxi, Lubelion, Branded Fusion, Unicorn. Summoning this in defense gives me a lady in defense. I bounce this. I mean, I don't even want to entertain this game anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, dude. The universe loves you. It's all right. 
God damn it, man. Scripted hand? There's no way that was a scripted hand. If, if they wanted, if the universe wanted to script the hand, they would have made it closer than that. They wouldn't have made it that obvious. Duelist Cup past level 17 is sweaty. It doesn't have, it has nothing to do with sweaty. They literally played one of the worst decks in existence. That is not sweaty at all. Their deck was not sweaty. Their deck was just bad. That's There's a difference between those two things. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Black Rose? Well, I have Imperm for Black Rose. I'm just trying to think if I want to max see this. I think I do. Oh, that could be an anima angle. Okay, useless card has been outed. Useless card has been outed. Poggers. I don't actually mind Anima. I, I don't think they play Anima because it looks like it's a dragon deck. Azalea. What are we popping? This? Uh, no, I kind of want to keep that. All right, this should be another rank up game. Let's swap after this game. Let's let's play something else after this game. How is L O H P in Labyrinth deck? What the hell is L O H P? Oh, Lord of Heavenly Prison. Uh, 
it's okay. I don't think there's that much destruction going on right now, so it doesn't really protect you by much, unless people start blinding second. They don't care. You got Chad. Haven't seen a lightning storm in ages. I mean, it could happen theoretically when people play blind second strategies like um, Pearly or Cash or whatever. Could be blind second with those cards. Okay, Rise Heart, Scare Claw Cash in hand. Set one. Set one more so I know there's no hand trap. Okay, well, we don't know that. Um, <sighs> pitching this gives it in my gives me that in graveyard immediately. Um, pitching this gives me a free reset. Pitching lovely is possible, but if I draw a spell, they can banish my lovely with that. It probably still is lovely. I don't play many spells, right? It's like... Has to be fine. I hate that I drew this. Um... I'm doing it this way around because we get more interaction that way. We can like, we can welcome lab. Uh, welcome lab for lady. We can set first to make it untargetable. Uh, then we can attack and then we can bounce with big welcome to get, to trigger the stovey to get it back. Mm -mm -mm. Set first to play around book. Yes. Absolutely. Set first to play around the book. Activate welcome lab. Don't get ashed. That was an important step. It was important to do it this way around. We could have not used it at all, but I kind of want the stovey for the field spell. I kind of want to I want to have the field spell. Yeah. Chaos Angel doesn't do much here for us. This needs to go to grave. This is looking okay. We're not shotgunning Eradicator, we're waiting for the Unicorn. This is, this is also why I, I attacked... If you, if you wondered why I attacked Fenrir and bounced Unicorn, is because I wanted him to start with Unicorn. Because they're going to start with Special Summon from hand and they're going to use the Birth Revive later. Uh, I want to go... I want to go this way around. So they start Unicorn, search Theosis, then they get Eradicator.
All right, after this resolves, we pop off on them. Uh, we can just go big welcome. Set with this. Pop the face down just in case it's like a trap. I could also keep my pop. Uh, I can save it, I think. I don't need... Yeah, I don't need to do it yet. Uh, this, I think this is Imperm. That's why I didn't pop it. Yeah, so now we just dodge this with Eradicator anyways. It's completely overkill. Unicorn again, Scareclaw. That's, that's hand, that hand is really good. Holy shit. Uh... Unicorn, Scareclaw, Cash, Ascended of Thunder, Rise Start, okay. Uh, we pop one in hand, right? We, we know they have a second Unicorn. Story checks out, they don't. Uh, so I can revive if I want to, which I think I do. I mean, surely we can checkmate this situation. Hold up. They have a Scareclaw Cash and a Rice Heart. Uh, I can welcome lab, pop with the field spell, destroy the unicorn, but the unicorn doesn't do anything. I don't need to destroy the unicorn. I think what I need to destroy is the rice art. That's what I need to destroy. Is there a rank 7 that fucks me? There isn't, right? Terrors of the Overroot outs all of them. The one thing I need to be aware of is I as long as I don't get Zeus, we win. Master of Blades? Master of Blades gets destroyed by non-targeting Lab Lab, adding a pop to my trap card. Because I didn't use my pop on the Imperm. I, I, I still have a pop with Labyrinth Labyrinth when I activate Welcome. I can still go Lab... I can still go Welcome Lab, pop a card with, with this. Summon Ariana. Grab... Uh... If I destroy this now, I win. Uh, we need to add Ku Clock. That was harder than I thought. That was a little harder than I thought.
Because uh, their hand was just no spells. Did you try out Tactic Crusader and Bigfoot in Furniture? Um, you can play those cards. Like, good discards for... Um, Uh, what do you want? What do I? What do I? What am I? What do I, What are we setting for them, chat? Give me a unicorn. I'm. I think. I think if they... Let, let me tell you how they win, chat. Let me tell you how they win. If they make... If they make a different rank 7, they have a line that wins. Because if they go for Shangri-Era in attack position... Um, if they go for Shangri-Era... In attack position... They can force... Me to use my overroot first. Which also forces me to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I can overroot it. But in order to overroot, I need to use my welcome lab because my overroot was not able to activate because I didn't have Ku Clock yet. In order to get to Ku Clock, I had to use welcome lab first, which also uses up my pop from the field spell, right? And so if they go for Shangri-Era in attack position, I have to do the welcome lab first, get the Ku Clock, my pop goes wasted because the, the, the Shangri-Era can protect itself. And then I still have to overroot it to not get um, Zeus. And then they still have uh, they still have Scareclaw plus Rysard to play in main phase two. And then they can maybe they can win. Maybe it's not enough to win, but they can still. I, I think they could. Anyways, we go to level nineteen. Uh, I'll show you the list that I have right now. Uh, this is the current list that I'm rocking for lab. Uh, it has tripled Aruma because it's very strong against uh, Pearly and Cash. But yeah, there's very little things you can change in my opinion in, in, in Furniture Lab. Furniture Lab is really... Honestly, one card that, that doesn't seem that great right now is maybe Imperm. Imperm is kind of like... Uh, it's like go going second, it's fine, but it's only okay as a hand trap. Is Waybridge any good? I think Waybridge is not very good, no. Waybridge... So the problem... Waybridge is a good card in general. Um, however, Waybridge in this particular format is not very good. Didn't you want to cut Ash yesterday? Uh, not from this list, I don't think. Uh, not from this list, I don't think. Is Gamma really good right now? Gamma isn't really good right now, but it's good in this deck because very often you can even use it going first. That's why I like Gamma. Why not playing Nib? Uh, Nib is a card that I would instantly play if I ran into a lot of Cash Tira. Um, but the way it is right now, I face like a decent amount of Cash Tira, but also a decent amount of other decks. And against the other decks, Nib is not very good, like um, Pearly and Lab Mirrors. Gamma is, uh, Nib is pretty much completely dead. Otherwise, you can play... You could play Nib. You think a second clock is good? Uh, clock is good, yeah. You could play more clocks. Uh, I like... I mean, the thing about clock is it's insane if you draw it with these... With the furniture together. If you don't draw a furniture, clock is just pretty much a brick. Is the playlist available somewhere? Exclamation mark playlist. X crazy you already got it. Thank you. Yeah, the playlist is available. Uh, you can play less the Ruma Karma Cannons. You can technically cut Dogmatica Punishment. It's not that good against Cash. It's not horrible against Cash. It just doesn't work under a Rysard. That's it. D-Barrier, I think, is not a very good card. Right now. Because it's not that good against Cash. It's good against Pearly, of course, but that's about it. Uh, okay. We are on the... On stage 19... Let's do the last stage with something I enjoy. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to be here for a while.
Is it four in a row from 19 to 20? I don't know. Did you see the new Centurion support? Uh, from today? Or from when? Oh, this hand brings me back. 48 cards is scary, though. A new support card, non archetype. What the hell is going on? Beach Rupert Descent? Is this Herman Hansen? The Herman Hansen? Oh. Okay. The hell does this do? Special summon a B Trooper token. Period. <laughs> Special a B Trooper token and then we're done. Alright. Poggers. Oof. Oof. Get the jet out here. I should have done this in attack. We could have just attacked this thing. All right. All right. See if you have a max C B trooper enthusiast. You don't. That is... That is... A tragedy. Um... I don't feel like activating Hugin. I kind of like my hand right now. Yeah, I'm not activating it. I'm chaining starter though, because I don't want to draw blue right now. It wouldn't be the worst to draw blue, but I'd rather draw more runics. That is not live. That is also not live. Cool. Sick. Alright. YCS Utrecht Gaming, by the way. Phenomenal. Love this for us. New card. I'm looking at YG Organization right now. And it doesn't... Oh, now I refreshed it. Okay, now it has a new card. Okay, after this game, which can only be a matter of like... It could be 5 minutes, it could be 30. We'll see. Pearly. Ooh, Pearly's a problem. I put Goddess in here, though. What was that? No shot! I think you're not supposed to draw that. I th I feel like you're not supposed to draw that. Right? I feel like you want to not draw that and search that, right? Chat, I think this is going to be a long game, by the way. I think we're in here for a ride. If zero engine, how does it work? How does it work with ghost trick no shot? You make the ghost trick rank one, I get that. But then what? They revealed two sleepies and a pretty. Okay. Oh, this is gonna miss. I, I, uh, this is gonna miss. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, it absolutely did. Oh my god, disaster struck. Okay. Okay, well, uh, the problem at this point is that even though we have evenly matched, they're probably going to have a Noir and they're probably going to draw hella cards. So evenly is going to... Nah, I, it's like... We're, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's possible. 
How do they how do they do this? How do they keep hitting? That is insane. Do you still lose lava golem? In this list, there's no lava golem because there's a thrust package. There's a thrust package in this deck. Um, which I think did we have Herald of the Abyss? I forgot. You play Dulahan, overlay into Ghost Trick Angel, shot revives Dulahan, then overlay into Angel again. So you have to play two Angels and a Dulahan and the two F0 dudes? That's five extra deck slots. That's crazy. How do you have that? You don't have that. You just literally don't have that. Like, it's neat. It's neat. I get that. But it's uh, it's a lot of slots. Six? Wait, no. Two angels, one Dullahan, one of the small F0, one of the Draco F0. Five. Five. Sounds like get hit by Nibiru to me. Well, the good thing about Pearly is it's immune to Nibiru. Because whenever you Nibiru the shit, they just add back all the quick play spells and do it all again. Uh, the Noir only has one sleepy memory. So we get to... They only get to draw one card. The thing is, we still have to deal with the Noir is the problem. So does this entire thing just not work if you draw Ghost Trick Shot? Like, if you draw Ghost Trick Shot, does it all just kind of fall apart? Okay. I mean, it does work. You play two shot, okay. Hold. All right, here's the gambit. Here's the gambit, chat. Is there a gambit? I'm trying to think if we have a gambit here. So I'm, I'm. We have two options. We have two options. We can either start playing because we do play goddess. Maybe we can threaten the noir somehow. Do we play dark? We do play dark, but they don't have a dark in the grave right now. Um. We can start playing and threaten this thing, but then they will start bouncing all our shit, and that's annoying. We don't want that. What we can do is we can set Karma Cannon. We can set Karma Cannon. Uh, and then... If they don't spin it, we can just Karma Cannon the Noir next turn. Um, and if they, if they spin it in the end phase, we can chain flashing fire. The only problem is we have to survive next turn. Okay. Beep. 
Is that on the top or the bottom of our deck? Bottom. I forgot. Well, now it depends. Do they have follow-up? How crazy is their follow-up? So on and so forth. Do they play multi- Oh my god, dude. Field spell 2. Do they play 2 plumps? They do? Even with the freaking ghost trick package? Where is all that room coming from, sir? They hacked the game. They have 50,000 50, extra deck monsters. What the hell? Oh my god, how? Let's see if they have follow up. Just have Lily and my friend in hand. God damn it, dude. I'm crying. Fat tears, man. Is there Herald in the extra in the deck? There is Herald in the deck. Yeah, we can top deck thrust, and that could get us out of here. At least I think there is Herald in the deck. I think there is Herald. Oh my god, another delicious? They didn't get just get that, right? They just had that. Oh my god, man. They're being so greedy, too. If I draw another flashing fire, my dude? No. You're not doing that. Oh, my God. If I draw another flashing fire? Okay. I was about to say, my man. All right. Herald of the Abyss one time. Herald of the Abyss one freaking time. Dream is not over. They draw two here. Oh, it's so, such a nasty deck, man. Sometimes it's such a nasty deck. Save me, Iperia! Okay. Sure. I'm having the time of my life right now. You can win this. I cannot win this.
God damn it, man. I wonder if Josh still feels the same way about Maxi as he did last time he discussed it. That last time you're talking about is almost two years ago. No, I don't feel the same way about Maxi anymore. No, I don't. New card, surely? Oh, I forgot. My bad. I was too busy drawing this god of a hand, dude. I was too busy with that. Good lord. Uh, we're probably gonna end up pitching Karma Cannon here for Smiting Storm, uh, for Hugin. Hell nah. The homie cap shell will get us out of this. Not having a second runic kind of misery. have furniture it must be it must be some kind of furniture action going on or some surrender action all right it couldn't be any bestial or nib because they were locked under gigantic chat that's why it couldn't be any of that ah new card oh my god holy shit i almost forgot again Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Jump scare. Uh, let me bring it up. <laughs> Demen Don't say dementia streamer, dude. What the hell? Why are you saying that? <laughs> you guys have dementia. You guys keep forgetting to use your, your Twitch primes. You guys are the ones with dementia, not me. It's you. Prove me wrong. Okay. Uh, solve a digital dilemma with Enigmaster Packpid. Packbit. Enigmaster. Level 8 water cyber synchro effect monster. Materials. One tuner plus one non-tuner. So generic level 8 synchro. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned or sent to the graveyard, ooh, Ultimate Slayer, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls or one monster in your graveyard. This card, one card, and if you do, place that target face-up in its owner's spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. During either player's turn, while this card is treated as a continuous trap, you can special summon one face-up mon monster card from your spell and trap zone. Okay. Um, I guess. 
Very good in Centurion. I mean, it does have synergy with Centurion. I don't know if it's like exactly what they needed. Because I haven't played Centurion yet. But it's like an okay card, right? Like the the hassle to go for a level 8 synchro and then just get this out of it when there's other level 8 synchros out there like, you know, uh Borlode Savage or uh Axel Synchro Stardust or whatever, right? I think it's um I think it's slightly mediocre compared to those. Um specifically in Centurion, I think it could be nice. Um, the other use I'm seeing is you could use it as, like, a removal with Ultimate Slayer, you know, like, Ultimate Slayer goes two for two now, pretty much. You can remove, like, a Synchro and one other monster. I guess that could be alright. Is there a better Synchro for Ultimate Slayer? Like, you can use Herald of the Arclight if you can search with it, but other than that, it's, like, okay, right? It's, like, an okay Ultimate Slayer target. Malong? Malong? Is Malong better? Uh, Malong... It... Uh, I, yeah, Malong is better. Malong is better. Yep. Yeah, not all that exciting, honestly. Not all that exciting. Alright. Back to gaming. Back to gaming. Also have food, which I don't want to get to, wanted to get cold. React mod check? I don't really have anything lined up for reacting right now. We normal summon this because it usually baits max C. If they don't max C on this, they usually don't have it. Some people don't max C here, but usually they don't have it. Uh, we could have maybe started with freezing curses, but okay, that's annoying. That's fine. Is it fine? Ah, it's it's pretty annoying. <laughs> um, hmm. Gigantic. I don't get to draw a card off of this cap shell right away, but I could later on bring it back with elf and then make IP and then draw my card. It could also just be Elf first. Elf first, draw a card with Cap Shell. Elf revive Cap Shell, overlay for Gigantic. That has to be better. Uh, Text Force, thank you for the Prime. No Dementia confirmed. Thank you. Ah, that's not what we needed right now. You can stop me from getting my runic fountain. I will find it. And I will draw another runic at some point. Don't say imperm one time. Why would you say that? Could have summoned Iperia for a draw, but I think the sprites are... Too strong here to pass up. Uh, starter for carrot seems nice.
We want to end on Elf. The question is, do we want to end on IP or do we want to end on Gin Buster? Leaning towards IP. Leaning towards IP Master right now. Bro, stop saying booba every time IP Masquerina hits the field, dude. Stop. It's Gishki. Holy shit. If my Maxi resolves, they literally die. Uh-uh-uh. 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 No, no, no. Not like that. Not like that. Now they will deck us out. They cannot do that. Hi, Ren Kazuma. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. I would appreciate a freaking uh, runic spell. That's what I would appreciate. Wait, he can't attack! Oh no, he can't attack with it! I didn't even need to do anything! Oh, I forgot about that. Well, we've been baited. Yeah, you're right! I've been baited completely! Oh man. Yes. Angry. Bonka Christ.
bro if only i let them go if only i let them go the freaking battle phase man i i realized it too late They're not using it. They're scared little baby. Ooh, they even have a target for this shit? Do I even have a target left? For my blue? Because I'm considering... Playing around an ash here. Ah. Limited jet is a it, it is a real problem. Jet being limited is an is a genuine concern, yeah. Okay. This hand is all right. It's not great, but that unironically might make it. Does it make it better almost? No, not better. Um, hmm. Ah. Oh, it's cash. Okay. Uh, cash is a problem because we just banished their rice heart, which means their birth is life. They can potentially birth out of the karma cannon, but I mean, karma cannon is good. The hell did you say to me? The hell is that? Yeah. Uh, what happens? It says return this card to the hand. If I Daruma and it gets set, does it still bounce itself back? If it says this card, it still returns, right?
No, we don't the room at this turn, chat. We want it next turn. So that um our thrust is live. Hmm. Hmm. I'm 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 okay letting them summon. I don't care about most of this. I just want to get my cap shell and red down first. Hello. All right. So now I will thrust. I hate you for that. It's not that relevant, but I still hate you for that because I don't get my draw now. I, I just hate you. I I don't have a specific reason to hate you, but I that, I just don't like that you did that to me. I just don't like you no more. We're beefing now. I have no idea why there's a rice art, by the way. I, I just want that to be known that the first card we banished from this individual was a rice art, and I have no idea why. DD Cronegate! True. So, this has a way to go back to hand. This can't just be destroyed, right? <laughs> we banished the normal, we banished the normie cards and then they just show up with bestial dragon mates. What a wild game this is. We're just banishing all the normie shit and all the crazy stuff is left in their deck. Mm. Kind of a whack draw here. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, well... I really wanted another... I, I wanted a sprite or a runic. And I got neither, which is kind of painful. But I, I think I need, I, I need to prioritize Iperia here, I think. Cringe deck, dude. Uh, in that case, it's probably just Elf. Why not blue? Because the second runic would have let us made in do insane stuff to them. It's basically, we have 26 cards, like half of them are runics, and we can draw blue or jet anyways, or starter, which is another 5. So it's like 20 out of 26 cards were just the same outcome, except for like Iperia Maxi, pretty much. And the third thrust. Mm. It's alright, though. You have a runic set? I do have a runic set, but if I draw another runic, I can go special Hugin, search the second fountain, then activate that other uh, runic and draw three more. Thank you. 
Their effort has been noted. Um, I'll just smash it though. But your effort has been honorable. Are we banishing more normie cards for them? Probably. Yup. Except for a mistaken accusation. The hell is that about? Kick white. I don't know how I find these people. I have no idea. Also, Redub, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. But I am enjoying myself, that's what I know. I am enjoying my time playing Runic Sprite. Even though, do not copy this at home. I don't think this deck is very good right now. Oh, if we win this, we uh, we go max. Oh yeah. We're max. We're max, chat. We're DLV max. Uh, I don't care. I care a little bit. I do a little bit of caring. Goodbye, blue. I don't want you no more. You special summon. The hell do they have? The hell is that? Ash? I mean, they would have ashed this, no? Bestial? Has to be a bestial, right? Ooh, I hope you. I hope you're playing one. I hope you're playing one of the uh, one of that dear note, or one of that foxy tune, and you're really sad right now. Okay. Sure. Sure, buddy. Ashing... Ashing Fountain but not Hugin is crazy behavior to me. Because what if I have another runic? Like, literally, what if I have another runic? The game is over. You're so cringe. Punk Cash Hero. Oh, no, no, no! I can't let them attack. Ash, Maxi, Fenrir, Wraith, Soth. Is what you're telling me they have. I see. Do not maxi me again. I will literally cry. Oh, it works on flip summon. I love Hyperia, dude. Oh my god, I didn't know that. 
I, I thought I already loved Iperia the maximum amount, but now I love it even more than before. I didn't know it was possible. I didn't know I had more love for Iperia in me. Holy shit. I just went the Ruma Karma Cannon to reset my my Iperia. I love it here. Okay. Poggers. Um... This is a joke of a game. It's a literal joke of a game. They cannot be serious about this game. The aggressive cap shell in the attack position and the surrender into the DLV max. Wonderful. What do you mean? They only had they only had Ash Max C Ghost Ogre Fenrir Field Spell. Not that hard, dude. Not that hard. Congratulations! Hell yeah. Finally a new title. Finally we can get rid of this title, dude. I was I was getting tired of it anyways. Bop. Uh, Rayborn, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate that. Now can we play Rika? Now, why would we do that? Why would we play Rika now? Like, you think after doing, like, the, the grind, I can reward myself with a li little Rika gameplay? Is that what you think is going on? It's like, I I'm so, like, exhausted from all the grinding that I did. And so we should go, um... We should go some Rika for relaxing. I'll tell you what, chat. 10 gift subs right now, we're playing Rika. How about that? Not just like, oh, let's play some Rika for fun, because it's not that fun. If you guys have fun, 10 right now. It can be a it can be a, a, a group effort, you know, we can do five and five. But I'm not freaking playing that deck for enjoyment. I freaking don't play that deck for enjoyment. Why is Rika more expensive than Gladiator Beast? Because Gladiator Beast is freaking based at... I did... I went too low again. I went too low. It was too low. What I said was too low. I didn't think anyone would do it. But Calculated Risk, thank you for the 10. That's a fitting name, actually. That was a Calculated Risk. That was a Calculated Risk that I took. Um... Watch me build... Watch me build a Rekka deck from scratch without forgetting any cards. Three Dry Asses... Two sewings, one twin. Do you think, um, do you think they did the entire Sunseed is these nuts backwards thing on purpose? Genuine question. Oh, I forgot Mudan. Uh, unexpected die. Ash Blossom. 
Should we play 57 for consistency? I can't even think of 57 cards I want to put into this deck. Um, called by the grave. Cross out. With one imperm. And one nib. A small world for some fun in here. This is not worth 10 subs. This was not worth it. I already regret doing this. Um, thrust package? Sure. Thrust. Talent. Usta. Uh, painful decision, right? If we go, if we go for... If we go 56, we need more copies of the sh of the thing. Uh, why are we playing this deck? Because I'm dumb and I said uh, I said 10 subs and I play Rika. I didn't think anyone was gonna do it. Um, you need Gamma Seal? Do I? I do. Okay, let's finish the extra deck first. Bengal Lancer is missing. Um, Hyperi, Hyper thingy is missing. Uh, Jasmine is missing because for some reason it's still not banned. Chat, should I put this? Or this? What do you think? Because according to, according to Twitch chat, like 95% of my Twitch chat, they play this card. And if you don't understand, if you don't, if you don't get that joke, you should watch my newest YouTube video. By the way, the Rika, the Rika exam YouTube video is now out. Like two days ago, we dropped it. So in case anyone hasn't seen it yet, it's now there. Um, what is number fifteen? The two sun vines. Oh, dance beyond. Uh, what am I missing in the main deck to make it even worse? And by even worse, I mean go to 57. Oh, did I not put Primula? Primula. I did not put Primula, in fact. 50, 50, you know what? 55 looks so pleasing to my eye because they all have the same, you know, it's just 5 times 11. If we go, if we go two more, it's going to be so cringe, right? Like two more cards. Oh my God. It's going to make it look so ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be optimal to do 55. Wait. Rick, uh, on Avalon. Cringe. No, you know what? We're not using the we're not using the cool accessories on this deck. What is like the most cringe accessories that we have? Uh let's go with this one cuz that looks weird. Let's go with Which one is the most cringe sleeves that I have? Oh, they're all kind of okay. Megalo, you take that back. This one? Ah, this one's not that good. This one's cringe. This one I find cringe. Uh, this one is cringe. Three main cards. Cringe. Cringe. Giga cringe. Yeah, okay. Dude, I should have said, I should have said like 20 or something. I shouldn't have said 10. 10 was not good. 10 was not a good, I misplayed. If you do the solo mode, you should be able to get some Rika sleeves, just saying. Okay, they would be good for this purpose of doing it the most cringe possible. Oh, I still have a base mate though. I should have put a cringe mate as well.
People might even have gifted 50 for this. I don't think so. They have, we're getting hard comboed on by Labyrinth, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in trouble, chat. We're in trouble. Because we don't have Ash. Damn, 55 might be more consistent than 57. No way! Who could have ever thought about that? Who could have ever... Ah, oh, that is crazy that you said that. How many subs for playing math mech? I still need to um I still need to think about that number. I'm I'm listening to offers, but I have not reached a conclusion on that number yet. But it's a big number. <laughs> Did it just pass here? Yeah, no, you don't. 57 subs is optimal? That's not enough. No way. For every viewer, one gifted. Okay, now, now we're talking. Is that an offer or a question? <laughs> if it's an offer, we might be playing math make in a second. Question. <laughs> okay, unfortunate. No, not the small world. I wanted to bridge. I wanted to do some bridging. Oh, man. Therion Lilai Borea. Okay. Go with Konkon. They're like, oh, they're playing 55 cards. There's no way they have a Mudan in hand, right? There's no way they have a Mudan. No shot. Okay, they're scared. We're not being treated very well by this Labyrinth Duelist. We are not being treated well by this Labyrinth Duelist. How many games did I did we agree on, chat again? How many games did we say I needed to play for 10 subs? Till end stream? No way, dude. You want me to end stream right now? Because I can. I can't. I don't mind. I'll end right now. We can settle. If you tell me I have to play lab until the end of the stream, the, uh, uh, planned until the end of the stream, I, I'll end. It's over. It's literally over. Right here, right now. Hello, I'm a Sunseed Lokai. I am full combo. <laughs> Can I stop, please? Watch Nash, Nash pop up in chat and be like, that was winnable. That game was literally over. You were literally winning. 
Okay, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. I'll, I'll, I'll do one more where we can actually play the game. Are we RNG manipping Master Duel right now? Like seriously? I know we've made that jo that joke like two times, but we might be RNG manipping Master Duel right now as we speak. Is fifty five the number? Is fifty five that number? Shireen, nah. Game. They milled pineapple the fruit dude. No, they discarded pineapple the fruit dude. They didn't mill it. <laughs> what happened to your mic? What's wrong with my mic? Where did my nib go? Oh, my mic twisted. Well, the thing is, you have to, like, if you want to keep playing, you have to take the nib. But you can also just, I, I, my deck, I can't, I'm not playing next turn unless I'm drawing uh, the low Kai. If I don't draw the low Kai, then uh, nothing happens. Literally nothing happens. Because the last card in their hand is Unicorn. Bro, they can tribute summon Unicorn. They can tribute summon Unicorn. I'm just saying. I'm not saying they should, I'm saying they can. You have like nine copies? Okay, so we have... They're just passing. They're just passing! Oh wait, no, they're destroying? What are... Oh, Baron. Oh, Baron in four summons. That's smart. Baron in four summons is smart. Yep, 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 yep. Baron Diffler. All right, give me the Lokai. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 55 cards. Is so consistent. They have dementia. They will have forgotten my hand. They have not. Next time. <laughs> Next time. Next time. I say 10 subs to play plants. Someone please stop me immediately.
the moral of the story is that Rika is ass? I know that! I knew that all along! I know the deck is ass! But people don't listen to me when I tell them. This is, a, is this an FTK? You gotta show us why. That's why. This is why. Literally, all those games are why. Those are average Rika games going second. Oh, look. They only have 2,000 life points left. That has to be so bad for them. Do I ash the second one? Let me read the first one. I'm ashing it. Isn't Lingaribo a Danny viewer? Yeah, we're about to be in a, a Luke von Garma replay. We're out to we're about to be there. We're about we're about to be there. I should have um I should have changed my icon and my name so people can't tell it's me that I'm playing Rika. Bro, literally, when I said when I said we're going to do this until we actually get to play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, I didn't realize that that meant until the end of the stream. I did not know that that was how it's going to be. What now? If I go Borea, they just Fenrir banish the Borea. If I go Lokai... Oh, maybe it's Lokai. Hello, I am Sunsea Genius Lokai. I would like the full combo. Literally, if I get to summon more than two monsters from my extra deck this, this game, it counts as playing the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. I count it. I'll count it. If I get to summon more than twice for my extra deck, I count it. It doesn't matter how scuffed it is. It counts. They're stealing. They are steal- I'm, uh, They are literally stealing. Glamour. What in the world is happening? Why is he playing plants? I I was desperate. I was desperate, dude. I said 10 subs and I would play plants. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I lowball. I did lowball. I did lowball.
I can't even scam you guys out of it because I couldn't even summon once from my extra deck. Even even when I'm trying to scam, it doesn't freaking work. Chat, 10 subs, 10 subs, and I, I concede right now, and I stop playing Rico. Save me, dude, save me. It's time to dismantle Rika for Mikanko. Dude, I will never play Mikanko in Master Duel again. I will never play Mikanko in Master Duel again. Literally. Okay, five subs right now, and I'll concede and I'll stop playing Rekha. <laughs> I can't make the decision myself. Chad has to do it. Otherwise, it's a scam. Otherwise, it's a scam. It's not a scam if Chad wants it. You know, if Chad tells me they don't want to see Rekha anymore by gifting five subs, then it's okay. Then it's not a scam. So someone, for the love of God, save me. Oh, how could you do this to me, man? Jay Pipe, man. Thank you for the five subs. Appreciate that. Thank you for saving us. Uh, anyways, chat. Ten subs to play Rika, anyone? <laughs> no, okay. No, I was, I'm joking. Don't do that right now. Don't do that right now. I will not do it. I will not do it. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I'm just saying... At some point, chat... At some point, we're gonna have to figure out a number. Do you see this? Do you see this three under the circular? I have it. I have it. I just don't know the number. Because I'm not very good with math. I'm not very good with math, but I have it. Right? I just don't know what the number is. Um, let's just play some rank, because we're still not ma We're still not in... We're still not Master 1. Um, and we do need to do that. Why do you have it? Okay, the real story of why I have it... The real story of why I have it is because I tested it uh, for Worlds. Because there is literally one scenario where I would play Mathmic if I had to, and that was if I thought it was a good deck for the World Championship, I would have played it. So I tried it because we were trying some, some different hand trap decks as like second decks. Uh, and we tried Mathmic, and that's why I have it. That's, that's why I have it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what? Let's play a game of Dragon Link. It's an awful idea in a, in a cash Tira format, but it can't get any worse than Rika. Ah, and this is where we win the coin flip again. I see. What did you think when you tested it? Well, I didn't think it was that good. I also didn't play many games with it. Ah, good Yu-Gi-Oh cards again. It's 60 cards and Rika sleeves. 
It's 60 cards and Rika sleeves. I am so scared right now. Oh my god, I've never been so scared in my life. Uh, I'm thinking this hand could just go Chaos Ruler and run it. I think this hand can just go Chaos Ruler and run it. Yeah, it's not 57, so it doesn't have hand traps. Maxi, Loop, Elyon, Poggers, Chaos Space. We already have a Chaos Space, but still... Ah, Boot Sector Launch. Okay, that's a problem. Mm, ah, Boot Sector is annoying that we milled that. That was the one downside of this play. I... Magnamut. Uh, we want to banish. We can banish Lubelion and then Chaos Space it. I would like to draw with Regained though, but we can still draw with Regained later. We can also draw with Chaos Space later. Let's draw with Regained now. In which case, it was probably better to banish Recharger for this. Beep. Bop. Um... Three darks in the grave. Could just go seal. Seal, because we don't have Boot Sector, I don't like going for Romulus here. Romulus doesn't seem very good. We're going for Seal. They have something now. Oh, it's Nib. They have Nib? Really? I mean, it has to be, right? I'll just shuffle the nib away if they don't use it. Ah, you're scared, aren't you? You're scared, though. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's fine. Fuck. Seals effect. Um. What do we end on, though? We can still chaos space. Do I have a generic link to... I can make... I can save it. Um... This... Eels, Levianir. I don't play IP in this one. But we can still go for... I'm pretty sure... I mean, because of the Chaos Space, we can still go for everything we want. 
But I would ideally, I would like to keep my ball drake in hand. So I'm going to try and recycle seals. Quick launch. Quick launch, quick launch. Let's me make a... Yeah. Honestly, I think they should have risked losing the nib. They should have risked losing the nib, I think. I'm pretty sure. Because pretty much all of this was guaranteed to happen if you don't. Oops, no, 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 no. Uh, triple. Yes. This. Effect. Tracer. Tracer. I could go. I don't have a. I can go Baron too. I can go Baron as well. I can go. I can go revive Magna or Baldrake to put it in the graveyard for regained as well. Then I can quick launch. I can make. Yeah. Let's make a Baron here. Here, here, here. This safer is just kind of vibing here. We don't need it. Savage would be better? I don't think Savage is better than Baron, no. I think that is major chatting. Uh... I mean, yeah, it's no point in staying here. Just add another safe herd. Baron Pop with cash in the meta? Dude, they're playing 60 cards with Rika sleeves. I don't think they're playing a cash Tira deck. I think we can be... Um, I think we can... Yeah. Could have summoned Striker and Effect Recharge to get more stuff going. We were on like 20 seconds. There, I did not... Yeah, I think I think this is fine against four cards in hand. Here it here it go here it here they come. Uh, yeah. Monka Christ. Uh, 
Uh, let's recycle Pisty. Oh! Hola! Uh, I don't want to do this. I want to do this. I'm just religiously playing around tactics. That's why I'm not using Baron. Negating the dry ass. <laughs> Bro, I hate this deck so much, dude. Nib called by unexpected die sewing. I don't think that does it for them. Yep, they just pass here. God damn, what a hand though. Come on, man. Are you for real? They can just tribute this, take Borland. Which... Is this just until the end phase? Take control until the end phase. Yeah, that's whatever. I don't need to kill him this turn. It's fine. It's whatever. Decklist, please. This is literally still the same list from two months ago. This is still still the world's the world's Dragon Link deck. It should be somewhere in my Discord. It's a Pogger's hand. This hand is insane. 
The Royal Ash is not going to stop me, dude. Peace out. Stream snipe? They don't need to stream snipe. They can, If they know Dragon Link, they know it's curtains, depending on what their hand is. Because, like, they know I can absorb out their Surge Tracer and I have Magnamoot. Like, they know I have full combo even through the Ash. They just wanted to show off their Royal Ash and, and leave. Okay, this is the first time we're losing the coin flip, but if you carefully observe our hand, chat, you will realize that the reason we lost the coin flip is because our hand would not have played. Our hand would not have played, so we decided to, um, to go second. Oh, they're just playing into it. I thought they would. They, I thought they would for sure at least chain another, the other runic spell, uh, the, rune, uh, the other pearly spell. They could have easily done that. I don't know why they didn't. We have reacted to Enigmaster pack bit, yeah. What was that? Two sleepies and the trap card. Okay. We're ranking up into delicious. Yep. Yep. Pew. Sadly, we can't chain block this. Otherwise, I would have liked to. They are heart making in Noir. And I'm going to be honest with you, chat. Um, since this list is from two months ago and we didn't have pearly cards yet. I do not think this plays an out to Noir. I do not think it plays Noir. Uh, an out to Noir here. Uh, yeah. They can let me draw as many cards as I want. They do. I do not have an out to it. There's no goddess in this. We can the only thing we can do is maybe force them. What the? Fuck? I'll chain block it. Did they hit with the princess sprite? By the way, no. They milled Maxi. So the wind condition, they didn't go, oh, they have the trap, okay. But that isn't out, because that means it's only until the next end phase. That is not very good of them. It is a fat noir, though, I'm not going to lie. Even with a lot of cards in our hand, I don't know if... Uh, this is an 8 material noir. It's, it's going to be able to spin 4 of our things. I'll draw one more here for the maxi. Oh, they have their own maxi. Deck them out. I cannot do 27. I cannot do 27.
We have to survive the next turn, essentially. Is what needs to happen. There's a world where we live here, for sure. Their setup is going to be scary, though, for sure. Looper Cooper, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. Maybe your opponent forgets that Noir outs itself. A lot of people do forget this, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. What was the three they revealed? Sleepy, sleepy, happy. Uh, there is one pretty here, one pretty here, no pretty here. The thing is they can turn if they even if they think about even if they even if they remember that they that this one goes back in the end phase they would probably just make a a, a really a, a, a tremendously fat Zeus on top right the 10 material Zeus but we have talents for that They don't they never miss they have not missed a single time yet they just don't miss All right, ranking up. Okay, that looks like we live. Okay, that that's that's good. That is good. They have one sleepy memory here, so they draw one more card next turn. Another happy, it doesn't really make a difference. We just take these and then we see if they remember. If they just don't remember, if they want to keep this noir on the field. Oh, seven boys for the fallen noir. Oh, seven. Check by.
<laughs> no megalol. <laughs> Thank you for the prime, though. Also, Hero, for for no freaking reason... Well, I, there is a reason, but for no reason, Hero is freaking 2 billion uh, craft points. So even if I wanted to... Like, I do think Hero, even though I don't think it's what you call it the best deck, I think it is fun. But freaking... I'm not spending... 500 freaking bucks on half a hero deck. Oh, the, God damn, dude. This is that... This is that meme where the four... The five dudes are standing behind that, that one woman. With That's the... This is the, the woman and this is the... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The four bestials. God damn. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what her name is. Oh, no, I don't want to tribute summon Magnamoot. Thank you. I did you really think there's hope? Near then. Baron. I'm not going to show you the meme. I know, I very well know where it's from. Which is why we won't discuss it further. Seven one. I never thought you were this immature. Okay, there we go. Two more until Master Two. Let's see if we can still do that today. We should. Fix the deck? I don't know what you mean. The deck is perfect. There was definitely no point in this game where I was worried. You made the joke? Yeah, because it was a very popular meme. Secret password. I'm thinking about ashing Sunny Snitch. I kind of... The thing is... I'm ashing Sunny Snitch. I don't want him to have a life twin. If they if they already have one, then I guess it's Sag.
I'm assuming it's life twin sprite, right? That's what usually is the case. <laughs> ah, I, we have the same cards in our hand. No! God damn it. They are too powerful. Okay, what is it? Is it blue? Is it blue, jet, red, or carrot? Please be red or carrot. 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 No, it's the blue. Oh, god damn. Huh. Just played through three hand traps like it's nothing, man. Just hand looped myself. Gigantic. Uh, what? So the question is, what is their combo, right? Because they can definitely still go like summon jet. But I don't know what their combo even is. Sprite end board? Well, I don't think this makes the full, like, full, full sprite end board because they already used blue. They couldn't go gigantic summon blue, summon jet into whatever. It's kind of like they can go for starter here. And I mean, they're a life twin sprite deck, right? So I don't think they play any other engines like Melfi's or something like that. They probably just go starter, summon red or carrot, make elf pass, which is maybe beatable. It might be beatable. We'll see. It could be elf IP, but in this case, I was I'm wondering what they make with IP in this case. I wonder what they would make with IP in this case. Now, if they have another hand trap, we probably just lose. But I'm gonna be honest with you: if they go first with Life Twin, Blue, Maxi, Ash, and another hand trap, they Deserve to win. They are the better duelist, if that's the case. Okay, they go for... They do go for IPL. They play Avramax in this? Life Twin Sprite usually doesn't run Avramax, does it? Ooh, Baldrake is interesting, because we can bait Battle Phase now. Let's try and see if they fall for it. I have Elf Effect. Target. Jet. No Megalol. Wonderful. I'm glad they didn't target red. Alright. Now... It does depend on what they summon with IP. Oh, they don't... Okay, nothing. Uh, well, we just take out the elf then. Yeah. Take by elf. What is blood doing? <laughs> what is blood doing is so funny. Where the hell does the word blood come from, by the way? I find it so funny without even knowing what it really means. Is it just UK slang? British slang? Okay. I, I, I think it's funny. 
Um, go for this. Uh, don't hate that draw. It's all right. It's all right. So we have it's main phase two. Look at this. No need to overthink any of this. That was very odd. I don't know if we play through this if they go for revive red. We might not. We might actually not play through this if they revive red. Not sure. It does depend a little bit on their target for IP. Uh, I haven't normal summoned yet, so I don't need to boot sector this out. On the other hand, yeah, I can just normal summon it. I kind of want to go Baron to play around their top deck. If I go Baron here, though, okay. Baron here was not actually that good, I think, because they could have top decked out of the situation. Okay, that they, okay, they surrendered. Nice. One more. One more. Any Gambas? If there's any mods in chat, which by the way, I think we need some more mods. I think we need more mods with how much we've grown. I I, I haven't I haven't gotten new mods in like months. Uh I should probably get to I should probably get some more mods. Because whenever I scream mods, nothing happens. I just scream into the void. I'm always here. I'll be taking applications on my Discord server probably. Okay, I said one more. I said one more. And the universe is here. The universe listened. I did not expect that. I did not expect that one. That was literally out of all the possible outcomes that could have happened today. That is not the one I expected. I mean, I'm playing Bestial Dragon Link. I was never really worried here, to be honest. Oh, no, 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 no. I think they're being skill diffed right now. I think it's a skill differential. Do we all agree on that? We agree on that, right? No, not my Lubellion. Uh, I would like to do a Baron de Fleur because they play a lot of hand traps and Nib does kind of screw me up. However, if I go for Baron here, I pretty much just pass. I don't kill them even. Normal Ash? I could normal Ash. You might be spitting facts. Normal Ash. That is the 
funniest line. Yeah, no, you're right. That's the play. Even though they could nip me right here, admittedly, they could have nipped me right here. I don't know if it's the line. I don't know if this line is that impressive now that I'm thinking about it. We could have just gotten nipped right here, right now. Anyways, they didn't have it. Skill div. <laughs> It is A line. It was not D line, but it was A line. Yeah. Yeah. I would call that a skill diff. Now, I'm confused. Did they not play outs to maxi? Cuz normally the universe always gives it to them. No, they did. They even played nib. What is what the universe is glitched right now? The universe is literally glitched. Okay, interesting. Funny. Probably because it thinks that we've suffered enough because of that Age of Overlord box from earlier. They think they think we've suffered enough. Surely. Which I agree. I agree. That freaking box was awful. This is undeniable proof that Maxi is a fair card because it beats Mathmex Circular. Yeah, there's not that many cards out there that beat Mathmex Circular. I missed the opening. How many TG did you get? Yes. Exactly. All right, Striker, Striker Dragon, no effect. No particular reason as to why no effect. I simply don't feel like it. I don't feel like activating the Striker Dragon right now. I could if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. You only play one baby, question mark, question mark. No, dude, there's two babies right here. One, two, two babies. <laughs> that was the worst one to draw. That's so funny. That was the worst card to draw by a mile, man. Oh my god. I hate it here. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, let me think. I go Ravine. I pitch Wyvern. I send Abzo. I get Tracer. Then I could hypothetically go for Pisty, Triple Burst, Revive, Tracer, this, but then I don't have a body. Is there a world where we can go Chaos Ruler? I... Normal Summon Tracer. I pop... Ravine. To summon... No, I can't summon... I don't have... I don't have another target because I drew it. Uh, it's pointless. Is it Pepega time? If I Pepega... If I Pepega Ruler...
What can I draw if I max C here? I'll max C. Because there is some stuff we can draw. Ah, uh, we don't have even have we don't even have a target for this regained. No bestial. There's no point in activating regained without a bestial in the graveyard. No way to get it there, unless they banish something. But I guess it it just makes this regain vulnerable to removal. I think there is a chance we don't die. Oh, it's lab. Well, I think it's lab. Maybe they banish? Yeah, there's a chance they banish, but there's also a chance that they just remove it from the board and then we even we have even less of a comeback chance. Oh no, man. Not like this. Okay. How do I out this though? Access code? Access code. Levianir also does it. Sadly, Levianir is banished. Uh, Roger Takostan, thank you for the four months. Appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Literally stealing right now. Reflection Rondo. And now what? I guess I, s I have to Serenia your draw? Okay, I mean... Let us... Recycle Abzo Router. I'm not entirely sure what this does for us yet. Do we still have Ravine? No, Ravine is gone. Uh, Axis Code outs this, right? I'm not, I'm not being dumb right now. Axis Code outs this if I want to, right? It does. So I quick launch for another thingy. Access code. There has to be game somehow. It has to be game somehow. I make dark. I make pisty thingy. It has to be. Chaos Angel targets. Chaos Angel does not work.
Uh, triple burst. It's a shame they took my recharger. I'm not actually sure it's game. Probably not even, because we had to normal summon the effect veiler. So, I have to destroy this, right? Hold up. Can't be destroyed by battle. The equipped monster cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay, this needs to go first. They add this back to their hand though, which means that if I, if I just, I die next turn, right? So I have to, I have to access code talker, banish itself. Pop the nib, right? My god, dude. I could have attacked my recharger first. Or I could have attacked the nib and destroyed the recharger. That was probably better. Special summon enemy can't go from hand or grave. Then you can special summon to your opponent's. I. They can give me a monster. Why, why did they do that? I, I think I might still lose. But... Still, what that will ha- I am confused is not a, is an understatement. Confusion is an understatement right now. Okay, now without. 
So my Levianir is banished and my Axis Code Talker is banished. <sighs> Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel targets, doesn't it? Yeah, it targets. What the hell are you talking about? We have to find Chaos Space. Where's Chaos Ruler? Is Chaos Ruler... We still have Chaos Ruler. Chaos Ruler needs to mill Chaos Space. And then the cooking happens. Otherwise, we have to go Seal Pass, because Seal is actually quite good against this shit. Absorouter, Baldrake, Ash, come on, dude. No, no Chaos Space, that's unreal. Problem is, we just lose to so many things. No chaos space. No chaos space. Levy out. Levy is also banished. That's what I'm talking about, chat. Levy is also banished. It's just seals pass. And we hope they don't have a freaking kaiju. The set the levy wasn't summoned. No, the levy was not summoned. I'm rebuilding my extra deck right now. It's called building activities. I mean, if they have a Kaiju here, it's just over. It's whatever. I, I can't really play around that. Like, I could use it immediately. Hidden armory, mill prep. I'm ashing it. I'm ashing as we speak. I could bounce. No, I can't bounce. Kaiju, what am I talking about? How are we still alive? What kind of game? What kind of magic is this? So their hand is Huli and the Fire Dance, right? Oh, this is our chance. We can kill them. 87 seconds. They die, right? They have to die. There's no way they don't die.
Mikanko Brick Unreal. Dude, you're the, another one of those Mikanko apologists telling me that deck's actually good. Uh, we need to hurry a little bit. <laughs> a lot of bit. <laughs> no, we have 50 seconds. We're okay. I can't believe... I cannot believe the Axis Code Talker Banish itself line saved us. I cannot believe that was the line that saved us. Nice. Even though the Tribute Summon Kaiju turn was very, very, very sus. <laughs> it was very sus, the, the Tribute Summon Kaiju. I don't know what, what they were thinking. Also, bouncing the Kaiju... Bouncing the kaiju, uh, not the kaiju, bouncing the, the bestial so we could just resummon it and draw a card of a regain was also weird. Boggers. How do you feel about cash in stage two? Okay, I've made, uh, I have made a uh, a discussion video slash tier list for the second stage. How do they do this for the second stage of the of the duelist cup? Uh, the video is not up on YouTube yet, but it will be. Like all my thoughts on all the meta decks for the second stage of the duelist cup. Uh, you all you have to do is go exclamation mark YouTube in chat right now. You can sub to the YouTube channel. It's going to be there in a couple days. Um. And it includes all of that, like Cash Tira, Pearly, uh, Lab, Blind Second, Cash Tira, all that stuff we talk about. Um, but yeah, I I think Cash Tira is, is good for the Duelist Cup. Um, because I think, like, I think Pearly is a better deck. I think Pearly is a better deck than, than Cash Tira in Master Duel right now, but I do think Pearly is a decent bit slower than Cash Tira, which could matter in a Duelist Cup setting, right? Um, so in my tier list, I actually ranked Cash Tira fairly high. You could also find the full video on the VOD channel, yeah. Is Dragon Link too slow? Dragon Link is, first of all, relatively slow, but second of all, not even that good. Like... Here, like, it's it doesn't have a great matchup against uh, Cash Tira. So I wouldn't rec... I'm just playing it for funsies right now. Um, even though I'm not going to have a lot of fun this game. But, um, yeah. This is the worst possible outcome. This is the worst day ever. The worst possible day. We can't even top deck anything. We can't even top deck like a cheeky talents to get us out of this shit. Ugh. 
This game's over. By the way, this Colossal Fighter, this Colossal Fighter is in my extra deck since two full months, and I have not yet done the thing into Maxi. I have not done it once yet, and I still think it's good to play it. But I have not done it a single time. But I like the idea of it. I like the idea of that. Also, Uncle Ollie, thank you for the uh, 16 months. That's an incredibly long amount. Thank you. Chat, we are so close. We're getting so much closer every day to 30,000 followers on Twitch. Do me a huge favor and hit that follow button right now if you haven't done so yet. Okay. Okay, Waver, you've done the bit last time. You don't have to do it again. This one is lost. I knew that would make you guys happy. Huh? That that makes you guys happy, wouldn't it? Uh, am, I, am I not nice? No, I'm not happy right now. Okay. No birth, no birth, no birth, no birth, no birth. Ah! Huh? What kind of criminal activity is this? Pat? <laughs> Bro, my, my, my tier limit deck is looking nice right now, don't you think? Don't you think my tier limit deck is looking crazy right now? F. This deck is legit cash with more bricks. Uh, you're not wrong. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with you because you are speaking facts. Nothing but facts. Battle phase? No. If I go battle phase now, they go big welcome. I ash it. Then their Fenrir triggers banishes my unicorn, and I have done. I've used this my my battle phase for nothing. They can just banish my unicorn. I don't care. I have another one. I have another unicorn. Uh, okay. Cool. I genuinely... I I don't have any tier limit plays. What do you want me to do, chat? I'm about to Theosis and lock myself into, into XYZs, but what else am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? We, we do not make Baron. <laughs> we do not make Baron, chat. No. <laughs> We give birth to a unicorn, I think. And then we, um... We move to the phase of battle. Might as well... No, we don't need to.
make big guy in yoik this entire interaction is based on the fact that we're ashing the big welcome if i summon big guy they big welcome i ash that triggers fenrir and our big guy is gone Bro, we could have gone Scream and summoned Tierleman's Cash Tier right here. No, we couldn't. Bro, we're literally just passing. We don't play any rank 7s in this. I am passing my turn as we speak. Right now, I'm about to pass. There's nothing I can make. Nothing. L notice how my extra deck is not glowing at all? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. There's also one other thing you're going to notice next turn. You're going to notice that even if a Cash Tira Unicorn survives, it's not going to glow because I don't play any other sh shitty ass targets for it. And we're being soloed by uh, one Cash Tira Fenrir right now. One Cash Tira Fenrir solos us as we speak. I'm not going to activate because otherwise they're going to take away my kick clothes and I'm going to be sad. For those who missed it yesterday, look, literally no one asked. No one asked to what happened yesterday and if they could see that clip. No one asked. Not a single individual in chat. I saw no askers. Not a single asker. Well, don't. I, I was not going to use those anyways. Okay, unironically, we draw a tier limit monster, we can win. We draw a tier limit monster here, we can win. <laughs> they are hella confused right now. We are confusing each other. They're putting Cash Tira into Labyrinth where it doesn't belong. I'm putting tier limits into Cash Tira where it doesn't belong. Goodbye, kick close. Alright, watch this. Watch this. I'm about to draw the nastiest. Rhino heart of my life. I lied. I lied. You see why I'm so confused? Well, what happened there? The one one reason why I'm so confused is whenever I'm playing, you notice that whenever I'm playing against Tier, or whenever I'm playing against Rika, or whenever I'm playing against Mathmic, the games are hella difficult. And then when I'm playing the decks myself, they're all complete ass garbage worst decks I've ever played. I don't understand how. It, yeah, it, at this point, it has to be a skill issue, right? What else could it possibly be? What else could it possibly even be, chat? Has to be a skill issue. Uh, Fenrir is better? Question mark? Are we about to, to mill 11 cards, chat? I think we are on the verge of milling 11 cards. We go Kit Colos, add Scream. And then we go Kit Colos, tag out. Into Teolemon's Cash Tira. And then we are milling 11 cards off of our deck. And there's like nothing that can go wrong.
Style Clash, thank you for the 12, the full year. Appreciate you, thank you. Oh, look at those. Look at those triggers. Holy. Let's go. This is only the beginning. Sharon, Meta Noise. Pineapple the fruit, dude. The strudel. Okay. Boom. We milled pineapple the fruit, dude. Okay. Um. This. This. And I'm gonna scream. All right. What does the pineapple do? You're about to find out. You are about to witness. There it is. Pineapple the fruit, dude. What do I have here? This true though. Not yet. We don't have snow yet. We need snow. We missed. We didn't even add anything. Oh, what we can we can rhino heart. Rhino heart question mark? The point of that? I mean at this point I am committed. I don't even care. I'm going for Shireen. I'm going for Shireen. I'm going for Shireen. I'm pitching this. Easy, easiest, easiest heartbeat mill of my life. It was completely free what we just did. Uh, do we want the book or the Saliac? I've got the book. Mill four more. Three more, I can't count. It's three. Beast, beast. No problem, no problem. We're not done yet, we're not done yet. Theosis is funny. We have no more targets for that. I mean, I mean, let's go. Let's go. 10 cards left in the deck. Still snow in the deck. No snow in October, by the way. Still no snow in October. Kind of cringe. Oh, monster attach. Unfortunate. Extravagance. Oh, that might be a lab angle. We might be facing a set five pass. Scary. Scary. The cool thing is if they only play two Fenrir, their Fenrir is dead. Bro, we have 10 cards left in our deck. Scary. The fact that we did, I, I'm just now realizing the fact that we attached a freaking monster against lab is outrageous. I am outraged right now. Now give me my fairy tale snow. I am begging. No, okay.
I'm about to win that this individual. I'm about to win that this individual. Letting you know that right now. In the extra monster zone is where my window goes. Peace. That is not gonna work out the way you think it will? Unless you're trying to activate a trap that is not a welcome. You don't have a fiend, brother. Brother Robbie, you don't have a fiend! You're not fiending enough right now. You are not fiending enough. Why did you cuckoo clock? He doesn't need a fiend, he needs a lap. Same thing. In this deck, pretty much. They're about to flip the meanest skill drain? Don't say that. Don't say that. Do you know what? So, you know what would be extremely funny and not funny at the same time about that? Is that if they act, if we had milled snow, we would not give a shit about skill drain. We would not care at all about skill drain. Had we just milled snow at some point in our 30 mills? Uh, I respect that attempt. I do res I have to say, I respect that. I, res I respect that. It's a respectable attempt. I don't need that scream no more. Oh, battle phase. We're aggressive, I see. Alright. Uh, I didn't send Rule Close itself because I still want to have my special summon for Kaleido Heart. Redoer returns. Redoer does not conflict with um, Winda. Does he know I can flip all of them back face up? Is he aware that every single one of these is going to be flipped back? I'm not sure if they know that. Wait, was that from hand? Was that a last card in hand? I think so. That's funny. Hello? Monka S? Okay, fine. How are- how have you not, like, surrendered yet? How do you think there's a chance? What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Nah, man. When, where there's a pop, there's a way. You can still DC? That is true. I could still DC. Which is the one that doesn't let you flip? You might be thinking of Floodgate Travel. Don't jinx it. That, look, look, it's fine. We're not gonna DC, Chad. We're not gonna DC. Okay, they picked the one that just comes back for free. I respect that. Alright, they're about to find out that we can flip all... Okay. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. 
Okay. Tillman's strongest. Officially Tillman's strongest. Um, all right, chat. That is the last game of today's stream. We have we have like a couple more games until Master One. We're gonna we're gonna do that on another stream next week. Um, first things first. First things first. Before we end it right here, do not forget that this is not the last stream of the week. I'm gonna be here on both Saturday and Sunday for um the YCS. We're gonna watch the YCS together. Do not forget. Be here. Be here or be square. Or be there or be... I don't know how you say it. Whatever. Um, tune in on Saturday or Sunday and Sunday for YCS uh, watch parties. I'm going to be there on both days. Uh, follow the stream if you haven't yet. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you guys so much for all the follows, all the subs as per usual. Appreciate everyone for watching. Appreciate all the support. I'm going to raid Farfa. And we also have a little bit of content planned with Farfa. Uh, I'm gonna be off stream, but he's he has a he's he said he has a quiz for me or something that he wants to do in like a couple minutes. So that's gonna happen over on Farfa's stream. Um so I'll see you guys um over there, I suppose. Um yeah, we're raiding Farfa. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day, and don't forget to be here on Saturday and Sunday. Bye bye. I don't know exactly what time the YCS is, because it's in NA and there's gonna be time zones and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll let you know on Discord and Twitter and so on and so forth when we're live, right? So until then, see you guys. Bye-bye. Peace.